Welcome back everybody. Today's video is all about how you can make a cheap do-it-yourself crusty gecko tank or a cheap quarantine tank. So stick around. <music> what's going on everybody in case you're new my name is tyler and welcome to my channel basically today's video is going to be all about how to create a really cheap either quarantine tank for your crested geckos or do-it-yourself tank for crested geckos as opposed to spending a lot of money on let's say a tank like this that's an 18 by 18 by 24 exoterra tank this 18 by 18 by 24 probably costs 200 dollars brand new whereas this tub with everything in it probably will cost me around 25 dollars or less I saved a ton of money doing builds like this because a lot of the stuff in here is do-it-yourself. I buy plants in bulk, I buy PVC in bulk, I buy um, suction cups in bulk, I buy a lot of the supplies I need all in bulk so it ends up being significantly cheaper. So first let's talk about the tubs that I use. I use these Sterilite 66 quart tubs. They're basically 23 and 5 eighths by 16 and 3 eighths by 13 and 1 fourth um, inches high. I like to get the see-through ones, that way it provides light for the geckos and they can see out and if there is sun shining on them, they'll get some sunlight. So what I do is I basically have tubs going two ways. I have them going horizontal like this one and I also have them going vertical. So basically, if you end up flipping them vertical, what you'll have is you'll have your tank now being 16 and a half inches long, 13 and, a, and one quarter inches wide, and 23 and a half inches tall. In all actuality, that's pretty close to what the 18 by 18 by 24 tanks are, and they work out really well. If you have a lot of crested geckos like I do, sometimes it makes a lot of sense to end up going the cheaper route because you're still giving them everything that they need. You're just not having it be as fancy, and it might not look as aesthetically pleasing, but if you don't mind that, that's okay. Now, if you look at Squash's tank, she does have a really nice tank, but a lot of people don't have $200 to go and spend on 15 different tanks like that. So these tubs work very well. So basically, as we get started, just know I did do this in a rush and I did not try my hardest to make it look nice. I just wanted it to work well. You guys can take a little bit longer and make it look nice, but let's get started. Basically, on the shorter side, I cut, I left about an inch to an inch and a half of space around each of the edges, and then I cut it with a box cutting knife. Now, be careful with this because your hand can slip and you can get hurt, so just make sure that you're careful. Basically, I just cut that plastic piece out, and then I took my screen, and I measured just a little bit past it, and then I ended up hot gluing it down with um, popsicle sticks. As you can see, I'm testing it out here, and if a crested gecko crawls on this, it's not going to hurt them at all because I'm pushing very hard and it's not coming undone, so there's no chance that they're going to be able to get that undone. So basically what I did for the plants was I went to Amazon and I got this really, really big pack of vines that they sold as decorations for like houses or things like that, but I had to end up cleaning them multiple times just so you guys know because there was a lot of green dye coming out of them when I washed them. But what I did was I put a few together and I zip tied them together to make a little loop and then I hung them on suction cups, which is what I actually did for the branches as well. And speaking of branches, all I did was PVC, and then I cut some holes in it, and then attached the suction cup. So honestly, for, for the amount of money that you have to spend and what you get in this tank for your Crested Geckos, it's amazing. You can put so many branches in there, you save a ton of space, and it honestly just works very well. I know that they like to climb, they're always on these. I'm sure somebody's thought of this idea before, but I've never really seen anybody on YouTube to do it, so I'm gonna be having a video coming out soon, so be on the lookout for that and how exactly I made these. But for this video, these do work very well and you can add a number of them in there and they are very, very good at conserving space and um, putting vines around them and making them kind of just blend into your tank pretty well. I know the white doesn't look the best, but cost-effective wise, it works very, very, very well. I ended up going to my local hardware store and I got two 10 foot poles of the PVC so I have enough for almost all of my Crested Gecko tanks honestly. It's super super easy you just drill a hole big enough to where you can get that little um, suction cup through there and then once you suction that thing there they're not moving. I pushed really really hard I was pushing with a lot of my strength you can see the whole tub is bending those things do not come off very easily at all. I've only had them come off a number of times honestly it was not very often. Obviously, you wouldn't ever have 10 in here, but um, you could probably fit at least 10 Crested Geckos on these and it would still hold it, if not more. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is Rusty. Just to show you guys that they do use them and they do use them very often. So don't be thinking that, oh, they won't use it. Oh, it's white. It doesn't look natural. Oh, whatever. They do work and they use them all the time. Rusty especially, but all of them do use them. 
Sif is actually famous for eating her food and going up on there and rubbing her face all over it, so I have to end up washing them all the time. I would just like to quickly circle back to another really good thing about these is they save a lot of space and they give you the potential to put a lot more climbing decorations in your Crested Gecko tank for your Crested Geckos. So I would highly recommend. Basically, now we're going to talk about how I clean it. What I do is I'll just take out the paper towels, obviously throw those away, and then I'll unsuction all the suction cups, go and take the vines and all the suction cups and all of the PVC and throw it into a five gallon bucket with some hot soapy Dawn dish soap water. And then I just let it sit for a minute, and then after a couple minutes, I just go and take my brush, and I start brushing it. It's honestly super easy and very time effective if you have a lot of crested geckos like I do. Dawn dish soap is pretty much safe for reptiles. Just make sure that when you're done washing it, you dry everything completely. I know it can be a pain to dry your plants completely, but it'll make sure that there's no soap or any residue left on there for them, and you want to make sure that they stay safe. So that's it for the inside now for the outside and the lid this is how i get into it basically i just set it up like this and then i just pop the top off and then i just rest it on my knee while i'm getting into it and then i can just leave that top on so it's not really a pain in the butt to where i need to unclip this bottom piece i can just unlatch the top one and then i can get in and do whatever i need to do or swap out food fresh water things like that so that's pretty easy about it the only thing that can be kind of a pain in the butt is once you lock it, I've noticed that these corners kind of will pull out and a crested gecko could get out of there, especially a smaller one or things like that. So basically what I did was I took these little clips and I just clip them on each one of the little corners. So basically, And then the whole side is secure to where it doesn't really move anymore. And then your gecko can't get out. All right, guys. So. Another thing I forgot to mention was always make sure that these are stuck well. Every once in a while, they will fall. But like I said, I've only had it happen a couple times. So when you're doing your daily feeding or every other day feeding or misting, just make sure that they're stuck on there. If they do fall off, just take a little paper towel and make sure that there's no water spots. Wipe it off, um, dry it, and then re-stick it and you should be good. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Um, it really does help the channel, and we've been growing slowly but surely, but we're getting there. Um, and I appreciate all you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.